Tom Brennan. Sorry I missed you, but leave a message and I will call you back. Thanks. Hey, Dad. It's Kylie. How did I know you wouldn't pick up? Working out? Isn't it a little early for that? Ah, warming up with a morning jog, then exercises. You're a better man than me. Uh, I was just calling to see how you're settling into the new place, because I know how much you love change. Why don't you take a trip outside of your comfort zone, like losing the barrack chic look on your new house? When I come to visit, I want to see something a little more sentimental than flags and medals on the walls, okay? Love you. Bye, Dad. Hey, Peanut. Peanut? Oh, uh, sorry, I thought you were somebody else. That's Major General Peanut to you, Tom. General Cabot. Thought I'd recognize that old growl. It's been almost five years since my last tour of duty, son, so it's just Henry now. You still heading up the school board over at Stone Creek? I think they just like having a two-star general on the school newsletter. Makes them look legit. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You love that place almost as much as I do. Glad to hear you say that, because there's a situation there I'd like to discuss with you. Okay. Um, how does it appear to Callahan sound? Ooh, ah. Oh, ah, sir. Good to see you. Stone Creek Academy. Duty, honor, honor courage. That is, Colonel. So, when did you get your marching papers? Uh, all too familiar story. Mortar shell blew. Shrapnel flew and yelled me in the shoulder. Army handed me my retirement papers three months ago. Tough break. But well, maybe it was for the best. Really? How do you figure that? Uh, are you going to sit down? Thanks, Frank. Well, look, I know how hard it was for you after your wife passed away, but would you have really been happy staying on doing a desk job? Well, not by a long shot, but I'm not really cut out for civilian life. You're in a period of transition, so. Which, uh, <clears throat> brings me to my proposition. I need your help over at the academy. The place has been falling by the wayside for years. Enrollment's down to the point where they can... Barely keep the lights on. What's the problem? <clears throat> I wish I knew. The board just hired a new uh, dean of academics to help turn the place around. And? And uh, if I had 100% faith in her, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Her? From San Francisco, graduate of Berkeley. She's a smart one, but, uh, you know, very yogurt and granola, touchy-feely type. Mm -hmm. Translation, non-military. I think the Academy could use someone from the inside to head up the military program in Corps of Cadets. General, I, I'm a soldier, not an administrator. You're a leader. You always were. And if anybody can turn this program around, it's you. Oh, please, what else are you going to do? Start a boot camp for soccer moms? It's not that simple. Fall semester began two weeks ago. They would need me to start yesterday. Well, that's perfect, because what did you do yesterday? <sighs> exactly. Okay, what are you afraid of? Is there somebody else you can practice this psych major stuff on? I'm already paying for it once. Ah, that is a very good example of deflection. <sighs> I love you, Dad. Bye. Bye, Kyle. What are you afraid of, Tom? Good morning. Emily, is that it? Yes, you, Foster. Good morning. Good morning, Melanie. Good morning. And what do we have here? Oh, fight outside morning readily. Ah, oh, so it's going to be one of those Mondays, I see. Send them in. Boy! You both know the Academy forbids physical altercations. But worse, one of you is lying about starting the fight, which is grounds for expulsion. Hey, you're not going to get me expelled. Hey! It 
wasn't him. I started it. I see. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you have an incident on your record at your previous school. That wasn't my fault. I swear. All right, then. Seeing as we are barely into the school year and just getting settled in, I'm going to opt for a one-time boys-will-be-boys excuse. Thank you. Yeah. If you promise me one thing, you both keep your noses clean. Got it? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Mason, I've got high hopes for you. You've got a second chance. Take advantage of it. Thank you, ma'am. And please stop calling me ma'am. Sir, more specifically, it's untucked. Now, where's your tie? We don't wear ties. What kind of uniform doesn't have a tie? <laughs> this one? <clears throat> Colonel Brennan, I presume. What gave me away? Yeah. I'm making a joke. Ha <laughs> ha, sir. Melanie Corbett, executive assistant, Colonel. Quinoa muffin? Um, um, they're organic, gluten free, and sweetened with agave. Three things I try never to eat, but thank you. Oh, well, that's a shame. I made them myself. They're Caroline's favorite. Caroline? Yes, you know, Caroline Foster. The new dean of academics. Well, I know who she is. I'm just surprised you refer to the dean, so. Casually. But I guess things are more laid back than I remember. Yes. Uh, well, I'm sure you're anxious to get settled in, so why don't I show you to your office? Okay. Okay. Activities for the week. Caroline, uh, Dean Foster, was hoping you could meet her later this afternoon to discuss the upcoming semester. Fine. Did you see if she's available to meet out on the quad at 1300 hours? One o'clock. Oh, great. It's, uh, right after lunch ends. Hmm. Thank you.
Seeing as this is a military academy, I expected things to start on time. Please continue. I'm sorry, Colonel. I thought we were meeting to get acquainted, not storming the beaches of Normandy. Caroline Foster. Nice to meet you. Where I come from, Dean Foster, example is important. And punctuality is part of the code. Okay, then. I was just teaching the cadets here the benefits of yoga. Studies show it helps with concentration and relaxation. Maybe you should try it sometime. I'm comfortable, just as I am. Thank you. If you say so. Shall we? Anyway, I'm sure you've already got an earful about the decline in enrollment from Henry. Henry? No, you mean the general. Right. I forgot you two served together. I suppose old habits must die hard. Yeah, if they die at all. Right. Well, that's why I was brought on here. To help make the academy more relevant to a new demographic. And what was wrong with the old demographic? Parents don't care about the pomp and circumstance anymore. No offense. They just want schools like Stone Creek to get their kids into good colleges. Well, I was brought in to emphasize code of conduct, character development, discipline. We look at this campus. It's the cadet's responsibility to treat their institution with respect. And how are they supposed to do that with their noses buried in cell phones? On that subject, we're banning electronic devices from campus. <laughs> are you serious? You realize the students do their homework online. Look, I don't necessarily disagree with everything you're saying, but I also don't see how your approach is the only way that we're going to turn this place around. Do you have a better idea? Well, thank you, Colonel. It's the first time you asked me for my opinion. I'm sorry, ma'am. You'll find I call him like I see him. Well, it's very easy to walk in here pointing fingers. I've only had a few weeks to settle in, and you've had, what, a few hours? Meet the faculty, get to know the cadets, take a deeper look around, and then come to me with a plan we can actually discuss. Got it, Colonel? Yes, ma'am. Great. It's cruel and unusual punishment that no one should be subjected to. Oh, well, it's not that bad. It's got the four major food groups, beef, turkey, ham, cheese. Yeah, I'm not talking about your protein explosion. I'm talking about your my way or the highway attitude. Like it or not, Dad, this woman is still your boss. Technically, we're in charge of two separate divisions. Well, it sounds to me like she's trying to work with you. Oh. Right, by dismissing everything the Academy represents. Mm, you're so frustrating. Why do you think you're the only person who knows how to do things? Maybe I am. Maybe you're not. Can I make a suggestion? I me saying no would make a difference. Put the dimmer switch on that personality of yours. Daddy, don't get me wrong. I love you to bits. But you have a way of making everyone the enemy sometimes. I don't mean to. Well, look at you taking baby steps. You can do that more often, too. Smile. It's not a weakness to show you have a softer side. Well, I'll give you that. Your mom had a way of getting me to lower my guard. Well, now that she's gone, maybe you have to learn how to do that for yourself. Or find someone new to help you do it. And up goes that guard again. Someone explain to me why nobody's heart is in their duty. When I was your age, we had earned this privilege. Was that Vietnam? That's it, hero. Give me 20. 
Sorry, I don't get my allowance until Friday. Push-ups. That's everybody on the ground. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, let's go. You can thank Cadet Keller. Real push-ups. Nothing like starting the day with a little calisthenics, is that it, Colonel Brennan? Something like that. The cadets and I are just getting acquainted. Good, because some of these cadets are the Academy's top scholars, like Emily and Jared. And Mason here actually just skipped a grade. Oh, the wise guy. <laughs> Flat backs. Knees on the ground if you have to. Dean, it's traditional to refer to the cadets by their last name. Oh, I don't know. I find that so impersonal. Don't you? I'm actually trying to get them to call me Caroline. I mean, that is my name. Right, cadets? Okay, that's enough. On your feet. Get to class, cadets. Walk with me. Two things. First, I would appreciate it if it didn't contradict me in front of the cadets. And secondly, how far can you walk in those? Watch me. For enrollment to grow, I plan on implementing progressive teaching methods that worked at my last job. Expanded learning tracks, life skills courses, flip classrooms. What's a flip classroom? Never mind. We're not in the business of creating soldiers. We're supposed to be shaping minds. Precisely. If you truly understood the military model, you would see that discipline fosters a great work ethic that carries over into every aspect of a cadet's life. And if I respectfully disagree, what, are you going to tell me to drop and give you 20? I thought it would help. Look, I may not know much about the military, but I do get kids. I know what keeps them motivated to succeed. But I can't do it alone. And I also can't climb this hill. Now, there's a word I hate. Can't. It's the most overused word in the English language. It's just another word for quit. Is that so? Yes, ma'am. You said, I can't climb this hill. Yes, you can. Do your feet hurt? Sure, but you can climb. Can't suggest it's out of your power. It's not. Fine. How about this? I'm not climbing this hill in these shoes. Better. That's a choice. I really can't stand that, man. available for a meeting after lunch you mean here in the war room i mean your office dean's choice she says she can meet you out on the quad 1:30 to 1:45 ish ish means somewhere in between familiar with the term but tell me at what point does ish just become a blatant disregard for a time commitment i'd give it around a half hour good to know on time i see actually i got here a few minutes early in case you were planning to blitzkrieg perfect i love a walk and talk only this time, it's not a competition. I have a game plan I'd like to run by you. What's the catch? There's no catch. We both want the same thing, right? Well, that depends. You sometimes seem a little bit resistant to anybody's ideas by your own. Oh, people can change. If, if they want to. Hopefully a little more easily than those words coming out of your mouth. So I've looked around. My first impression still holds. We need to re-embrace conduct codes and enhance levels of respect and confidence to up our game. 
Well, I'm glad to see you're still sticking with your original opinion. You're consistent, I'll give you that. Ma'am, you better let me finish. Which leads to reinvigorating the school's junior ROTC program, which parents love because of the financial assistance. It appeals to graduates for college. Ambitious. Do you not quote me on this, but I like the way you think. <laughs> well, it's not flipping houses, but it's an idea to put us on the map. Flipped classrooms, which simply means watching class lectures at home and doing homework in class. Doesn't that make it classwork? Listen, I happen to believe that a more personal approach to learning can be just as effective, if not more, than your take-no-prisoners attitude. Dean, you have to understand, in battle, an individual is only as strong as his unit. We're not in battle right now. We're always in battle, ma'am. For the record, your approach sounds like a coddling load of psychobabble. Psychobabble? You know what, Colonel? We're done here. And to think I actually complimented you on your ideas. Idea? I had more, but you didn't let me get through them. Well, that's because the only way you know how to share them is by barking them out like orders. You know what? I guess it's true what they say. Old soldiers never die. Or know when to keep their ears open and mouths shut. Now unmade beds. You mind explaining this to me, hero? It's made. I pulled the covers over it. You consider this made. You should be able to bounce a quarter off this thing. I told you I don't get my allowance until Friday. Show you how to properly make a bed. Watch me and do what I do. You. Uh, I actually have no idea why this is important to you. It's about order, consistency, attention to detail. If you say so, sir. Get your coat. Wait. You're not going to make me do push-ups again, are you? Actually, I need your help. I'm trying to find out what you and the other cadets think about the academy. So... You'll have permission to speak freely. Exactly how freely? Personally, I think most cadets see Stone Creek as a place for parents to send their slackers. Beg your pardon? Kids with disciplinary problems. You know, hoping the academy will straighten them out. I see. Anybody I might know that fits that description? No, sir. None that I know personally. Okay. Tell me, cadet. When was the last time the school had an honor ceremony? What's that? It's a ceremony that honors cadets who have demonstrated exemplary performance. It features elaborate drills, parades, dress formals. When I was a cadet, the backbone of any military academy. Um, no. I guess they phased that stuff out after you went here, back in the 60s. I appreciate your honesty, cadet, but it was actually the mid-80s. Permission to speak freely is now revoked. You know, watching yoga is only half as much fun as practicing it. How did you know I was here? Because whenever you're around me, a 21 gun salute goes off in my head. Great job, cadets. We'll see you same time tomorrow. If you're up for the challenge, I thought maybe, maybe we could try this again. Should I get my boxing gloves now, or? You might be surprised to hear this, but I'm actually easygoing. <laughs> About as easygoing as an avalanche. Try me. Okay. So you really think what's alien this academy can be solved with your military approach? I did, but you were right to ask me to take a deeper look around. What? You 
Jesus said I was right. Forgive me for basking in a little glory. Well, don't bask too long. The board is talking about closing the academy. So the rumors are true. How much time do we have? Now, we'll finish the school year for sure, but the deal could be sealed before that. Which is why you and I have to find a way to work together. Agreed. As long as you promise to not bark at ideas like I'm your subordinate. Roger that. I just ask that you keep an open mind about a more traditional approach. I'm zen with that. Really? Why do you look so surprised? Well, you might not be aware, but you can be tough to work with. Me? something different today. Egg white sausage cupcakes. Ooh. I'm hoping to find a fan with the colonel. Ooh. All protein, low fat. Mm -hmm. I bet you've got a winner. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Kylie. You're Tom's daughter. So glad to meet you. Wow, he lets you call him Tom. Not exactly. <laughs> We've yet to broker a treaty on names. Mm. I'm trying to pick my battles wisely. Smart. I think I was nine before he even let me call him dad. <laughs> so, sir, is it true you were in the Gulf War? One of the many places I was deployed, yes. I heard you were the youngest lieutenant in Operation Desert Shield. And so right through the invasion of Kuwait? That had to be epic, huh? I wouldn't say epic, but definitely an experience. Where'd you learn all this? There's this thing called the internet. Sir? Well, why are you asking me questions? If you read it on the internet, it must be true, right? I meant no disrespect, sir. I was just curious after our discussion. See, I did some research on Stone Creek. Okay. Did you know two generals from World War II were former graduates of the academy? One of them served on the board before he took over the superintendent post at West Point. Didn't realize you were such a history buff. How was this place like when you went here? Oh, you mean during the War of 1812? <laughs> it was a great pride in being a Stone Creek cadet. We felt like we were part of something bigger than ourselves. If we could accomplish anything, we set our mind to it. So, do you think you can bring this place back to the way it used to be? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. That's cool. I mean, I'd like to see that happen. Really? It's quite a turnaround from our earlier conversation. Why the sudden change of heart? Well, after that growth spread I've been waiting on kicks in, <laughs> I was thinking about joining the Air Force one day. Really? Pretty impressive. Future flyboy, eh? About the toughest ticket in town. Do you think I have what it takes, sir? My dad always said you can attain anything you want in life through perseverance. You really believe that? I really do. You just need the proper inspiration.
No. But if you don't want to get a tardy, you better hightail it to class, hero. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize the colonel actually attended the academy. But I recognize that steely eyed glare anyway. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, look how cute he was. I know. <laughs> Best picture of him with my mom. Aww. And beyond the night, he finally mustered the courage to ask her out. Aww. <laughs> you know, you look like her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I miss hearing people say that. It's hard to believe it's been almost three years since she passed away. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Oh. I had no idea the colonel was a widower. So... To what do we owe this surprise? I thought you were studying at Bremner College. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't tell my dad, but I took the day off. I think I'm having a case of the junior blues. But Kylie, feel free to call me and vent if you like. Before I got into administration, I spent four years as a career counselor. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So is that helping when it comes to butting heads with my dad? It's a day-by-day -day situation. Sometimes minute by minute. <laughs> I thought I heard your voice. What's going on in here? Oh, didn't you get the memo? It's bring your daughter to work day. <laughs> um, Kylie, I'm afraid you've been sort of a bad time. We're kind of in the throes of it here. I've got a big strategy meeting with the boss. Oh, I prefer the term superior officer. Yeah, no, I totally understand. I just came by to say hi, see your office. Oh, I can show it to you. It's not very fancy, though. The colonel here doesn't like to decorate. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I like her. Carly is a lovely girl. You should be very proud. Well... I can't take all the credit. Her mother did most of the heavy lifting. I think Kylie would disagree. You can tell just by the way she looks at you. Um, well, you, uh, ready to start brainstorming? Let's get this party started. Well, I think the key to increasing enrollment is raising morale internally, but also changing the community's perception of the academy. Well, I couldn't agree more, but the question is how we accomplish that in the shortest amount of time. Well, that's our challenge. This got me thinking about the homecoming dance. <laughs> well, that might stir some interest among cadets, but I doubt I'm on the radar with the board members. You didn't let me finish. Beg yeah. your pardon. That's military speak for. I'm sorry. Please continue. Thank you. This year, the academy turns 100. Which got me thinking, why do we host a huge centennial benefit at Scholar Hall instead? Oh, gotcha. Bring out some alumni, get a lot of free press. Let's make it a celebration that honors the school as well as the community. And let's give the board a reason not to tear the academy down. I like it. You like it, but you don't love it? Don't get me wrong, I like where you're headed. I just don't think it goes far enough. I'm sensing a yet in my future. I get it. This is all very impressive. Honor ceremonies are the lifeblood of any military academy. And it's not just handing out ribbons and commendations. It's what's behind them. And what is that? Pride. Some of this academy is obviously sorely lacking. You know, a centennial celebration doesn't mean anything if there's nothing behind it to celebrate. Remember, perception is reality. And so is the bottom line. I imagine this all comes with a pretty hefty price tag. And remember, our goal is to find a way to increase enrollment. Exactly. And this, this is the key. You don't know what it feels like to earn the Dean's Superior Leadership Award. But you do. The honor ceremony is a culmination of academics and discipline. But this, this will give our cadets and the faculty something to believe in. Work hard, earn the honor, the rest will follow. I'm telling you, if we can pull this off, every parent out there will be dying to send their kid to Stone Creek. I feel your passion, and I agree with you. This could all be so incredible. 
I'm sensing a but in my future. Uh-oh. Somebody doesn't look happy. How am I supposed to save a school where there's not enough money in the budget to afford a pencil eraser? Well, hopefully it's nothing a little beef stew won't take the edge off. What's going on? Why are you trying to butter me up with my favorite meal? You are not switching majors again. Okay, will you relax? Maybe I just wanted a little father-daughter time. Hmm. <clears throat> Why are there three plates at the table? Foster. Hi. Oh, come in. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Are you kidding? I welcomed a hot meal after the cold shoulder I got this afternoon. It wasn't that cold, and it wasn't directed at you. I'm just frustrated with the situation. I know. Welcome to my anxiety. Speaking of which, this bottle is not going to open itself, Colonel. Tom. That's your name. You might as well start letting people use it. You'll have to forgive my father. He's not used to entertaining. Mm. Or makes me business with pleasure. Actually, he hasn't really figured out the pleasure part yet. <laughs> Would you like to come in? I like what you haven't done with the place. <sighs> I know. I guess it's the all shoot of living in barracks for so long. I tend to keep things sparse. Old habits die hard. I heard. If they die at all. At least you didn't paint the outside camouflage. Oh, no. I have to go back to campus. My roommate, she's locked herself out of her dorm. I'm so sorry. You know what? You guys eat. I'll go. I'll come back as soon as I can. Wait, you can't leave me here with her. Oh. What do you expect me to do? I don't know. Listen to your guest. That wine isn't pouring itself. Bye, Caroline. Bye. Just be true. Oh, yeah. So I take it my idea to revive the honor ceremony is off the table. No, it could still be on it if only you had one. <laughs> no, it's, it's all about weighing our options and deciding on the best course of action. Huh. But because you're the dean, it's ultimately your decision. That's true. But remember, we said that we would work together. I know you're from a world of leaders and followers, but for me, there needs to be a yin and yang in order to create harmony. I see. Right brain versus left brain. Mm. But which one of us has the right brain? Time will tell. What made you decide to be an English major? Hmm. I imagine you having hippie artist parents who encourage you to chase rainbows. <laughs> Not exactly. You know the photo of that guy sticking daisies into rifles of National Guardsmen being protested in the Vietnam War? Yeah, the guy in the sweater. <laughs> Don't tell me that was your dad. <laughs> No, but my dad was there the day that that photo was taken. And that inspired him to become a war photojournalist. And my mother was a school teacher. My father respected the men who fought for our country, as well as the citizens who objected to it. Sounds like a very brave and wise man. Hmm. I wish I got to know him a little better, but he died over Hanoi when I was two years old. Oh, sorry. That's silly, really. How is it I managed to miss a man I barely remember? Some scars run deeper than others. I think maybe they serve to remind us how much the people meant to us. Kylie told me, I'm very sorry to hear about your wife. I'm 
curious. What's with the F. Scott Fitzgerald quotation? He is a true literary hero of mine. Just the notion that we never stop pursuing our goals, no matter what life throws at us. Nothing's impossible to you, say it is. Now you're speaking my language. Tom, I have been speaking it all along. I can't believe I just called you Tom. Is that okay? It's fine. Who what? I beg your pardon? Oh, oh that's a military expression that comes from an acronym. Heard, understood, acknowledged. Who what? Okay. So it's a good thing? Yeah, it's a very good thing. To never giving up. To never giving up. This must be for the colonel, no? Actually, she wanted to talk to you. Oh. I guess she wants to take you up on your guidance counselor offer. Aww. Before you go, I know the colonel wants to speak with you. You know what? I, I just really need to clear my mind first. You already had your one yoga class this afternoon. Oh, no. There is not a downward dog deep enough to clear what I have off my mind. Tell you what. Tell Tom he can meet me here later if he wants As a matter of fact, I do. She said you should meet her there anytime after 1800 hours. That's six o'clock. College. Sometimes I even got lucky enough to win a little weekend. Funny money playing for the ducks. Funny money. Thirty years in the service. I played a little myself. Really? Well, maybe you should break. Are you sure? Be my guest. Judge, I've got a bum shoulder from a war injury. <laughs> I might know a pose or two that would stretch that out if you're willing to open your mind to yoga. Corner pocket. Maybe you're right. But what about opening your mind? To what? Your beliefs that my way of turning the academy around means teaching all the cadets to be mini-soldiers. That's not what it's about. Okay. 
enlightenment. Side pocket. The academy was built on the military model because it teaches self-discipline, confidence, leadership skills. Great, but what about things like individuality, self-expression, creativity? Well, one doesn't preclude the other. If a cadet will pay attention to details like shining his shoes or making sure his bed is squared away, he'll also go the extra mile to redo that math equation or reread that Shakespearean sonnet to make sure he understands it. What? Nothing? I never thought about it that way before, Tom. You're right. Hmm. <laughs> now it's your turn to bask in the glory. Feels good, doesn't it? Feel better if we could revive the honor ceremony. Find 60 grand in the budget for dress uniforms. I'm afraid that kitty is dry. It barely scrounged up enough funds to cover the expense of the gala. So, it's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Whatever happened, all that stuff about never give up and a soldier is born ready. Why do I feel like I'm being taken? We haven't been on anything yet. Come on, soldier, put your thinking cap on. Well, we have to change the culture. And a renewed sense of pride would improve academics, the perception in the community, and thus donations. Everyone loves a cause. Especially one worth fighting for. No. Uh, change the whole perception of the academy and up goes enrollment. I love it. Now the only question is whether I can manage to raise the money for the gala and you can whip the cadets into shape in time for a true honor ceremony. Wait, seriously? We can do both. We have a deal. Sure. I'd like to think this shot. No, no, wait. I am not staking the future of the Academy on one shot. You expect me to have faith in you? How about a little faith in me? Fine. Take the shot. I have to admit, I haven't been hustled like that in a long time, Caroline. What? It's the first time you've called me Caroline. Is that okay? It's better than Dean Foster or ma'am. Okay, well, Caroline, I've been meaning to say that dinner the other night was fun. I mean, I had a good time. I haven't felt like that in a while. I had a nice time, too. Well, good. Then maybe we should do it again. I mean, if you're up for the idea. Are you asking me out on a date? I guess I am. I I'm sorry. It's been a quarter century since I asked a girl. Now, I'm a little rusty. But yes, I would like for us to go out on a date. A real date. And see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? I'm not sure, but it cannot be more awkward than it is right now. <laughs> One can hope. Yes, Tom. It's a date. Hua. Hua. No, I said simply a hua. That's what I said. No, you said hua. You said that way earlier, too. No, I didn't. Say it, say it for me. <laughs> hua. <laughs> there, I said it right that time. So, cadets, I know that Sergeant McAllister has informed you of our plan to provide the honor ceremony here at Stone Creek. 
Formulating the plan is the easy part. Executing it will require diligence, persistence, determination. We only have a short time to reach our goal. So the sergeant and I are going to push you to master some elaborate drills that you'll need for the ceremony. I'll also be assigning ranks, including battalion commander. That's why I recommend you all be at your best. Cadets, fall out! Colonel, sir. If possible, I would like to be considered for rank of battalion commander. And that's a lot of responsibility. Position typically assigned to seniors. You really think you're up for the challenge? Yes, sir. I just want a chance to prove what I can do. A big change from the young man with the untucked shirt and the attitude. People can change, sir. They just need the proper inspiration. Tell you what, I will take it under advisement. Thank you, sir. Talk. I know you're in the thick of it at the academy. I have been on the phone all day calling for donations, and I would love a chance to rest my voice and put my ears to work. Dee, are you still thinking about dropping out of school? I thought about what you said, but I can't explain it. It just doesn't feel right anymore. And I feel like I'm just wasting my time and my dad's money on tuition. Have you talked to your father? Oh, forget it. Have you met my father? On a good day, he's listening, challenged. But I shouldn't be afraid of doing what I think is right for me. I mean, if school's not it, then that should be my decision, right? Are you... Asking me what I think, or do you want me to tell you what you want to hear? I guess both. It sounds to me like you've already made up your mind. And if that's the case, I'm not the person you should be talking to. He's gonna hit the roof. Look, Kylie, if you want your father to respect you as an adult, then you gotta treat him the same way. become our creature comforts. Exactly. I know for me, with every new job, I tend to overpack. 
I bring pillows and bedspreads and pictures. It's like I'm going on tour with Caroline's greatest hits. Reminds you of home? Yeah. When I think about it, in the last 10 years, I have lived in six different cities. But who am I talking to? I'm sure you've had to make home in the harshest of circumstances. Oh, well, you get used to bringing a little piece of home with you wherever you go. I always carried this little crayon hand drawing that Kylie did for me in the first grade. I don't know what it was about that silly little picture, but it gave me so much comfort when I was missing him the most. I can't imagine being that far away from your family was easy. Oh, I suppose every life has its sacrifices. Just had to find the right balance. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> I've been thinking about that a lot lately. I just don't know if I want to spend the rest of my career bouncing from city to city, living in extended stay rentals. What do you want? I'm afraid that's a work in progress. But I promise to let you know the moment I figure it out. Deal. This is nice, Tom. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, I mean this. You and me. Oh, good. I was afraid I was boring you with all my stories of enlisted men in the early years. Maybe not all of them. I'm just kidding. That reminds me. I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Really? It's just a little something to keep your spirits lifted during our fundraising efforts. I got it for the longest time. I, I can't even remember where I picked it up. Thank you. You know who said this? I do now. I actually just looked at it recently, in fact. Winston Churchill. Maybe we're not so different after all. Told you. Permission to kiss you, Dean Foster. Permission granted, Colonel. None of my business, but is the Academy close to reaching our goal? We're getting close. Well, about that. See, I was researching a list of the Academy's former graduates. Did you know Senator Whitman from Pennsylvania attended the Academy in 1966? No, I didn't. His family comes from Whitman Industrial Group out of Philadelphia. I see. Very wealthy, I presume. Exactly. The senator might be a good man to turn to for help. Real subtle to that. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Now, shouldn't you be a drill packers? On my way, ma'am. Understood. You have to try harder. I just can't seem to get it. I don't want to hear can't. Never. Just strike that word from your vocabulary. That goes for all of you. 
We're running out of time to nail this routine down. uniforms and the real equipment. There is no honor ceremony. I know he's got it now. But I'm curious. Was there any backlash from the seniors for giving him the post? No, not at all, sir. They're all rooting for him, plus they know he's the smartest kid at the bunch. And he's been dealt a rough hand. How so? Father out of the picture. Minor disciplinary issues at other schools. The mother probably sent him here because she doesn't know what else to do with him, sir. What's wrong? Listen, I'm sure we'll find the money somehow. It's not even that. I just got off a call with Henry. The board is about to vote on whether or not to turn the academy over to Bremner. And? Okay. Well, that's out of your hands, though, right? You can't control the future of the school. You can just deal with the present. Maybe you're right, Melanie. Maybe we can give those cadets and this place a last hurrah they can be proud of. Now, that's what the colonel would say, right? Or, where are you going? To talk to a certain senator. Here's hoping Stone Creek holds a special place in his heart as it does a certain colonel. I really appreciate you taking this meeting with me on such short notice, Senator. When my assistant said it was about Stone Creek Academy, I must say my ears perked. <laughs> I always had quite fond memories of my time there. I'm not sure if you're aware of the dire circumstances surrounding the Academy's future, but I've made it my mission to keep the school alive. Hmm. The Edgefield Foundation has stretched out to countless organizations and causes. The question boils down to simply how many zeros and commas are between what I'm willing to offer and what you need to survive. What if I told you that what I need from you is more valuable than zeros or commas? Hi, Tom. I'm sorry. The board voted 10 to 1 to turn the academy over to Bremner College after the school year. Thank you for doing your best. Bye-bye. Hi, Dad. Caroline. Hi, Sofa. Everything okay? Depends on how you look at it. Oh, that doesn't sound very promising. We need to talk. Okay. And promise me that you will try to listen. Look, I know this is probably going to come as a bit of a shock, but I decided to drop out of Bremner at the end of spring semester. This is where you yell. This is the new dad. I listen first and yell later. So you want to drop out of college and do what? Okay, well, don't laugh, but I think I want to take a year off and travel Europe. And again, do what? I don't know, experience new cultures? Use my advanced French for something other than ordering duck à l'orange at a restaurant? Or maybe I'll just use the year to figure out what I actually want to do with my life because it's clearly not happening at Bremner. It's not happening in Europe, either. Oh, this was a mistake. Well, fine, we'll pretend we never had this conversation because you are staying at Bremner until you graduate. Did you not hear a word I just said? Right. 
looks so real. Well, you're just gonna stare at it? Try it out. Mail, telling me that the board approved the sale of the academy. You're kidding. Which I guess means that you will be moving on to a new job soon. Tom. And Kylie came down to tell me she's dropping out of college. Oh. And how did that discussion go? Not well. Hmm. She told me she wants to take a year off to trek through Europe and find herself. And I said, good luck getting my support for that search and rescue mission. You want to talk about it? Uh, not much to talk about. I reacted, she reacted, and stormed out. Well, maybe Kylie taking an academic leave isn't the worst thing on the planet. Did you know about this? Well, they spoke about it, but I told her to talk to you. Why didn't you just convince her to run off to some commune and sing Kumbaya? Wait a minute, you don't think I talked her into this? No, of course not. I'm sure it's my fault. If I weren't so rigid and regimented, she might find me more approachable. Hey, hey, hey. If you would stop beating yourself up for a minute, maybe I can help you out with this. Nice. I'm sorry. Just stop. Because I can't do this right now. Can't? I thought you struck that word from your vocabulary. half the night. Pretty impressive, huh, sir? With your permission, sir, I'd like to take the cadets outside to drill before class starts. Carry on, cadet. did you do it? How did you come up with the money for the uniforms? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. <sighs> I fronted the money for the uniforms with the school budget I set aside for the gala. I guess the formal term would be misappropriation of funds. Caroline, you shouldn't have. I wasn't about to disappoint those cadets. 
or let them parade themselves out in their student uniforms. They earned this. Well, I'm not about to leave you hanging, so if you have any ideas where we can find the money for the gala... That's my problem, remember? Your job was to whip the cadets into shape. Oh, you know all my help? Look, if this is about last night, I... I'm sorry. Yeah, I was in a bad place, and I might have directed some of it at you. Might have. <laughs> I can only imagine how Kylie must feel. <laughs> have you thought about how you plan on fixing things with her? No. Ball's in her court. I just know I'm not about to sit around and watch her make the biggest mistake of her life. No. You're going to stand here with your arms crossed feeling justified. Well, don't tell me you agree with her. It's not about agreeing, right or wrong. This is about Kylie needing you now. You once told me people can change. Maybe now's the time to show it. Why is it these don't pop in like the picture on the side of the printer? I don't understand. It's like, oh, oh, <laughs> of course for you it works. Thanks, Colonel. Caroline's resume. I mean, I'm not supposed to know, but I know. It's sad. You know? I do. Uh, sorry, pal. Your dean already called and hit me up for a donation. I'll tell you what I told her. Charity begins at home. Well, I'm not looking for a donation. I'm looking for an investment. Come again? Do you have any idea? How many parents and community members are going to come out and help us celebrate the Stone Creek Centennial? And I just think it's a shame that when the whole town comes out on Saturday, the name they're going to see plastered on every program and every banner is McGinty's Grill. McGinty? Well, that place is a town over in Lewiston Falls. I know. I just think what that's going to say to your loyal patrons in Stone Creek. Uh, hold on there, soldier. Colonel, that's incredible news. Are you sure you don't want to tell Caroline yourself? No, I'll leave that to you, if you don't mind. Okay. I have something else I have to take care of. Well, looks like you can scratch food and catering off the list. The Colonel just got Callahan's to cater the entire affair. What? The whole thing? You must be pretty persuasive, that Colonel. Hmm, I'll say. Oh, I almost forgot. That just came for you. The Colonel had it sent over. If he thinks he's going to have me spinning rifles, he's got another thing coming. Kylie was up here. Have you seen her? Um, yeah, actually, she's right over there. Um, thanks. You're not going to make this easy on me, are you? <sighs> I'm sorry for how I reacted. You were right. I do try to control everything. After last night, I started to realize that it is not getting me anywhere. I guess it's like how I shut down every time you mention your mom. I suppose somewhere in my head, I think if I don't talk about it, then I won't feel the pain of her not being there anymore. 
But when you told me you were dropping out of college, all I could think of was, what would your mom say? What would she do? But that's not what came out of my mouth. It's just all I could think of was, I just wanted to put life on hold. And the truth is, I don't know what's right for you. Any more than I know what's right for me. All I know is, you'll always be my little girl. Dad, I love you. I'm not your little girl anymore. Not a hand it to you, Dean Foster. Made us all proud. Be especially. Well, I'd be lying if I said the journey's been easy, but you know what they say. No guts, no glory. <laughs>
Truthfully, we wish we could present an award to every member of the community who have pulled together to get the cadets of Stone Creek Academy this honor ceremony that they so richly deserve. There's one final award to present, and it goes to a special individual who has taught fellow cadets and me about character, integrity, and perseverance. Parents, cadets, and friends, please help us congratulate this year's recipient of Stone Creek Academy's Dean Superior Leadership Award, Cadet Battalion Commander, Mason Keller. Bringing back the honor ceremony, sir. Thanks, man. Dad. Kylie, I am so glad you're here. I want to try this again. I want you to know that I, I have made a decision. Okay. I'm all ears. And I mean it this time. I've decided to apply for a work transfer to a college in Paris. And if I'm accepted, which Caroline thinks I stand a pretty good chance, I'll be able to study abroad for a year and work on the weekends to pay for the extra cost. So what do you think? I think I'm happy if you're happy. This makes me very happy. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Don't take this the wrong way, but yesterday was very unlike you. I think she's really good for you, Dad. Get out of here. Dennis Hibbert from McCadden Girls Academy in Connecticut. Me too. He's heard about all the great things that we've done here at the Academy. Well, Caroline likes to share credit, but she's the one that managed to turn this place around. You'd be, you'd be lucky to get her. It's quite an endorsement. All we ask is that you consider us when things wrap up here. Thank you. I will. Sir. You met Senator Whitman, class of 64. Ah, nice to meet you. Welcome back. Dean Foster was kind enough to pay a visit to the senator and make a plea on Stone Creek's behalf. She asked me to push through legislation to have Stone Creek declared a historical landmark. Some things are more valuable than money. Based on what I've seen here today, I'm making it my mission to see that happen. So with the Academy a historical landmark, it can't be destroyed or altered in any way? That's right. Thank you, Senator. I'm sure the board won't be pleased about this, but I'll make a strong bet that this will translate into job security for you both. That is, if you want it. I do. I do, too. Great news. The Stone Creek Academy server is down. Oh. Because there's been so many hits over enrollment. Same thing with the office voicemail. I wouldn't be surprised if the waiting list was full by spring. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear it? Hua? Hua. 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 Perfect. I've been practicing. Senator, sir. 
Thank you. Could you excuse us for a minute? Saturday at 9 on Hallmark Channel.